Creativity is an addiction. Oh boy. This is going to be heavy, right? <laughs> no, I'll put two and a half pound weights on your bar, which probably weighs what, five pounds? I don't want, I don't want to weigh you down. I just want you to understand that creativity is an addiction. Build a relationship up with it. Start communicating with the self that you are. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Can we just take a moment? I think it's time that we learn how to properly breathe. To bring in the atmosphere of now. Hold on to it for a few seconds. And then release it into the atmosphere of what will become the next now. My home is blessed with doves. I've had these doves in this home almost two decades. They are what greet me every morning. They start singing at about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Most people would say, oh my God, can you get those things to stop? No, please don't. Because the dove has a spiritual connection to an energy source that is far beyond what I could ever explain through the nib of my writing instrument. But if we could just Take a moment to breathe, to bring in the positive, to bring in the atmosphere, to bring in something that seems to be missing in the open spaces that are right here in your heart, in your mind, in your journey. Bring it in. Hold on to it for a moment. And then let it go. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Today we're reading from July 8th, 2022. I, I can't see out my studio window this morning. The storms were brutal last night. And, and my dog is making noises behind me. I love her to pieces when she does that because she's a talker. Um, I once had an Alaskan Malamute and, and Lobo would go, wow. And Jazzy's no different. She makes little noises. I feel like that she's just a major part of this. In fact, her favorite room in the entire home is this studio. She'll come in here many times throughout the day and night. And I just think that she's doing a podcast for dogs. But I can't see out these windows because they're fogged over. The humidity is so out of control that it's just fogged over. All I can see is a taste of green, but if the deer were to walk in front of me, I'm not going to be able to see him today. This is the choice. When you least expect the worst, the weather systems we have today are not like the childhood thundermakers that invited fear inside of me. Nature seems to be lashing out at the entire human race all over the world. I don't think there's a day that we weren't being warned of global warming. Now that we are living the effects it still kills me inside to see so many non-believers. I laugh at things like this, mainly because the world of Christianity continues to wait for the second coming of Christ. What if he's already been here and the people shunned the leader away? Believers. There are so many people of belief. They may not believe in what you believe, but it's what moves the masses. Believing and the ability to believe in what? It doesn't matter. All it takes is a voice to start the difference. The weather isn't human driven, but through bad decisions, it could be the result of human ways. All we can do is embrace. I do not know what my father believed in. He just made it a point to tell me that he was not a believer in, in the Jesus that I, that I grew up with at a Baptist temple in Billings, Montana. But he, he knew that I believed in Jesus, but he did not have that same belief. My mother did, though. So it was like opposites attract. My mother was a very strong Christian woman. My father, not so much. But I never mocked him. I didn't find myself being bothered by him. I just knew we weren't going to talk about certain things. He had to believe in something. He was a very strong man. He made his way through World War II. He was there on the front line. He obviously had to believe in something 
Maybe it was himself. Well, well, I believe in that. You got to believe in yourself if you're going to push yourself beyond that self that stood there yesterday. Your beliefs. Have you ever thought about just writing them down? Or maybe to just ask yourself, what do I believe in? What, what is it that I believe in? I, I, don't, I may not believe in global warming, but what do I believe in? See, I believe in global warming because I can see it happening right now. But is it global warming? It's what I believe. It's what I've been taught. It's been shoved between my two eyes. Ask yourself sometime, what do I believe in? And how strong are those beliefs? Who's planting those beliefs? Am I being controlled by social media? The news networks? Politicians? Who's controlling what it is that we believe? I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.